I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on right now. You got the Joker movie, Motherless Brooklyn. This is a good time for you, it seems it like. It is, yeah. Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan. Mrs. Course. Fletcher. There you are. Oh. There's the guy. That is my guy with the beautiful dyed, <laughs> almost orange hair. This is quite a look right here that you got going. Yeah. Yeah, we, with the uh, costume designer, we, the, the design for this guy is like he goes to a store and, and asks for whatever's the most expensive shirt. <laughs> like it doesn't matter doesn't what. It doesn't matter if it looks good yeah, or anything. It's like if it's $800, like uh, I'll take it. <laughs> You're like, yes, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so how much influence did you have in creating that whole look? Um, well, as soon as the costume designer said that, I was like, absolutely. You're like, let's roll with it. Yeah. And the shoes, like 800, I had $800 <laughs> shoes and they were sneakers. Wow. So. It's like a whole different Yeah, and it just kind of transports you, you know, into a slightly, you know, douche mode. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you're spending $800, like douche mode is just automatic. Yeah, like, it's you know, A couple hundred bucks for sneakers, you're automatically in that category. Yeah, no, 800. 800 is yeah, right there. Yeah, then you're just like. <laughs> like, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about Ray Donovan for a okay. second. You've obviously had a good run in this show. Yeah. When do you feel like this turned into a bigger thing? Because sustainability in TV is tough, and this show has really cut through. Yeah. So how do you think that happened? Uh, I think it's just the each season there's an evolution of all the characters and the characters' stories, and it's amazing. I mean, it's happening in several all the shows that are lasting. It's the writers are able to reimagine the world, and that's what keeps people engaged. How about Liev Schreiber? What have you learned from working with this guy? He's well. We've known each other for. We we were in Scream Three together. Oh yeah, that's right. And so uh, that's how we met. And um, he's uh, like underneath everything, he's like a real sweetheart mm. teddy bear. Um, but he's you know he brings it. Like look at this dude. Oh man, he's gotta yeah. go. You would never know this guy's a teddy bear. Right no, <laughs> I mean he's not only a teddy bear, right. but that's like underneath there. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean, it was, you know, I play a guy who has all the amenities, has the money, has everything, and is empty inside. Mm. And so it leads him to Whole lot wanting to, yeah. you know, sleeping with porn stars mm. and just be, doing desperate stuff in, in a sense to feel alive mm. or feel like he has some purpose you know it's like it's the classic story of somebody getting all the Having accoutrements yeah. of success and then it doesn't change anything mm. and they're miserable mm. and, and it's and always interesting like what people are actually striving for in life they think mm -hmm. that's going to solve everything absolutely still empty yeah but so it's great i mean it just allows for a character that really has no boundaries yeah. like he'll just do whatever <laughs> And and it usually leads to uh, some interesting situations. Yeah, right? to him getting punched, beaten up, <laughs> broken arm. Yeah. Um, you know. And I'm sure it's interesting for you. Like you do Scream Three, you never have any idea that you'll wind up in a show like this all these years later. And you've done so many different things. I'm sure it's interesting for you to kind of put all the pieces together and with the, your career and everything. Yeah. It's a cool yeah, thing. Yeah. How have you had this consistency for so many years? Because you've done all these different projects. How do you go about choosing different things to do? Um, I just choose what what I get. Mm. <laughs> keep it simple. Yeah, like, I keep right, it simple. This is a cool thing. Yeah. Here. Let okay. Me jump in. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just bring as much truth to what I do as possible, and. Um, you know, in characters like this and, and many others, you know, I, um, I love to transform, um, kind of shifting the energetic patterns in my body, mm. which, which, which shifts into different forms of behavior. And, um, and uh, yeah, and people just, you know, oh, he can do this, he can do that. It's like the, the guy that can that can do it. Yeah, you're the guy that can kind of do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Joker movie's coming up. Yeah. Todd Phillips is like, all right, we need a guy. Yeah. Let's give Josh a call. So how yeah. did that all go down? That, I mean, I heard about that project and I just, as soon as I heard Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker, I'm not, I mean, if it was, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about uh, um, 
su big superhero right, movies. Right. But when I heard that, I'm not gonna pull the scores. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, take two. Take no, two. No, 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 no. We're keeping keep everything in. Everything's keep in. Keep it rolling. Keep, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Rule. Um, but I heard Joaquin Phoenix. I heard Joker, mm -hmm. and I heard it was going to be filmed like an independent movie. Um, which it was, and I just really wanted to be with it, be in it. Yeah. And I met with Todd, and um, we hit it off, and um, you know, and I and was so thrilled. And you know, being on set, there was just a a vibe. Like everybody, even though it wasn't fully spoken, everybody knew that Joaquin was going to take it there. Mm. He was going to bring his game on, like full on. And it just, there was so much concentration when we were filming that everybody just brought their best game. And, and because everybody knew that Joaquin was digging deep, it just, the set was so focused. Because usually, you know, you sh do a take and then <laughs> there's like this weird amount of time. Right, Sometimes it can, out. and yeah. it's like, wait, wh what are we doing? Like, what's, and are then, we are we like, a movie wait, here? what, you right. know, it's like, wait, are, are we waiting for anything? <laughs> um, and there was very little of the, it was like we were shooting, the, the crew was silent, you know, mm. usually like everybody starts talking, yeah. sandwiches, you know. So and everybody's extremely it, it was just like focused and, um, and it really, it's, it's an extraordinary movie.